give you a little overview of how the project started and uh, where we, um, why we are here now. <laughs> and um, thank you again uh, for the um, University hosting us here. So um, it was two years ago when Victoria and me uh, came up with the idea for the project. Um, she as a digital innovation strategist, me as a curator and gallerist and art manager. And we were both interested um, in the other's uh, um, yeah. specifications um, and also the um, uh, yeah, other diverse background. Um, uh, and we thought when we uh, like to bring artists, scientists and entrepreneurs together, so we need a common goal uh, so that people really start um, talking to each other. And the most important issue for us was really the quality of water. We both uh, are mothers, um, and this is such an important issue. Yeah. And um, three weeks ago at my gallery, there were two uh, women coming from the water management in Berlin, and I was asking them, what are we drinking by the bottle of tap water? And they said, tap water. So this gives us an idea. We think we buy bottled water, but in the end, uh, it's even better when you drink the tap water. So, and, um, uh, we uh, when we uh, think we thought of the project uh, progress, uh, we thought yeah we need strong uh, partners. So uh, we asked uh, Hybrid Art Management from Hungary. This is a festival organization. From, uh, yeah, organization. Then we have EUCC, uh, which is uh, European Coastal Union. Uh, they consist of 500 different organizations uh, throughout uh, Europe focusing on the water management and water economy. Um, then we have the Foundation for Entrepreneurship. Uh, they are based in Berlin, <coughs> one of the oldest uh, organizations uh, focusing on entrepreneurship. Um, they also organize a summit each year where all youngsters can come and uh, show on the stage uh, what they are planning to do. Um, and then we have a huge museum, the Center of Polish Sculpture in Monsko. And um, this is more a traditional player, let's say, uh, but they are also very interested how to mediate um, culture to younger generations. Um, and that's why they were also very interested in the project, because um, I'll tell you a bit later, um, in uh, Poland, um, we couldn't. Uh, show the project like it was planned because the uh, ecological awareness is so bad yeah, so that people really don't know uh, about ecological issues. So we really had to, uh, to start from scratch. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, this is one picture of uh, yeah, a few uh, team members, let's say, of the project. Um, and we met together uh, at the entrepreneurship summit. Last year, when the project was approved uh, by the European Union, and the kickoff was at the Entrepreneurship Summit. You see it here. Um, and uh, we also started with an interactive um, idea. So uh, we put also some walls there. Um, Victoria was presenting the project on stage in front of more than 1,500 people. Um, and we had very many discussions with all the um, participants uh, about ideas against the waste of the sea, but also uh, business ideas for artists. So here you see the stage. Um, actually, Gregor Gysi, one of our politicians, was just speaking right after her. And we also had a, a panel discussion um, with uh, an artist. Uh, an economist and a cultural um, manager and us too and it was about uh, the business model models between artists and entrepreneurs because we wanted to know whether um, artists or entrepreneurs see an opportunity in the other uh, background um, which was very interesting um, to see so there's an interest but people don't know how to come together so this project really has this layer uh, as well in it. So here we see a little panel discussion. Yeah, and I mean, uh, Victoria was pointing out this already. Uh, so there is a lot going on, and I think in the last uh, 10 years, um, 
it's so fast the process of plastic packaging uh, that we really need to, to act now. We can't wait any longer. And um, so we started with an open call to artists. Um, it was ended end of December last year. And it was amazing that we got uh, 250 submissions uh, from 34 countries. Um, we had all kinds of um, art um, forms, let's say. So from, uh, as you see, video performances, long-term actions. We have one artist from Denmark, I think it's also um, pointed out on the wall. Uh, and he collected the plastic waste of one year. <laughs> so you can imagine this apartment was full of plastic. Um, but then also, of course, collages, uh, photography, animations. We also had VR project proposed, sound installations, public interventions, books, objects, sculptures, social art, land art, and environmental art. Yeah, you, I mean, you can see the, we have a little booklet, booklet published already, um, where the top 100 are in, but on our website you find also other um, uh, proposals because it's an online community now, so all artists from abroad, okay, well, not only abroad, but uh, like also from the US, can publish their art project in this field, which is really great. So every week we get a new uh, submission, um, and this will be published on our website. So then we had an international jury um, advising us, and uh, so also the jury was very diverse. So from um, scientists, uh, activists, uh, Jan Kirk is the director of the Science Gallery in Venice, for instance. Henry J. Fair is um, an environmental artist. Um, and then we had uh, also Nathan uh, Stubel uh, as a marine biologist involved. Um, and uh, Boris Masseron, for instance, uh, comes from the Surf Oiler Foundation in Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, from the uh, top, or from the 250 submissions, uh, we went down uh, to find our top 10 uh, with the jury. Uh, but then we also had a public voting open, and um, yeah, and then the jury uh, came together again. So we decided on the five, which are here highlighted in green. Um, a short overview about them as well. So we have Frankie Morton Small uh, from London. She is a jewelry designer, just uh, finished her exams uh, and graduated. Uh, and uh, she is doing um, yeah, jewelry out of plastic waste. Her most important um, challenge is how to make it valuable because it's so toxic in a way as well. Um, and that's why she is now uh, with the University of Flensburg um, and has an artist residency at the moment there. So we matched them already. Um, and um, yeah, so she can uh, go also to the uh, uh, science uh, department uh, and can figure out what is uh, going on um, with plastic in general and what type of plastic she can use uh, for her. Uh, well, the designs. Then Eva Makiewicz, uh, she is a Polish artist. She's also very young, I think 25. Um, also graduated and she was um, collecting uh, just the, the bottle caps. Um, and this was also interesting because she did it at a university. So she asked all the students to collect actually the caps for her. Uh, to create these kind of objects um, and uh, she was also invited by the um, by an organization in Poland now um, uh, in regard of the World's Ocean Day and uh, to do for instance these kind of installations also in public space so uh, this is amazing when it really can be uh, transferred uh, to the public audience yeah, Bobatina Zipiancic from, from Slovenia. Uh, as we uh, heard Victoria already, she's using hydrophones to make people aware of what is going on in the deep water um, and how uh, humanity affects uh, the marine life uh, very badly. Not only uh, with the plastic, by plastic, but also by, uh, by sounds of container ships, boats, uh, all these things, and that's why she believes that, for instance, uh, whales get stranded. Yeah. 
Um, Lina Klaus is also an amazing uh, German artist, but uh, since 15 years she, she has been uh, living in uh, Bali and is doing uh, huge projects in uh, Hong Kong, for instance. And what she does is um, yeah, bringing school classes out there to the beaches because they also have massive uh, problems. And then she is collecting uh, all kinds of materials. So uh, to her, it doesn't matter whether it's plastic or organic. Um, but people start then col um, um, figuring out uh, yeah, what, what was collected, um, but she calls it involuntary pairs. So there's always uh, one organic material which can uh, decompose and a plastic one which uh, yeah, needs a very long time for that. And um, after uh, creating these uh, great um, uh, assemblages, you can call it, on the beaches where people also take pictures and so on, um, they then bring uh, or separate the waste yeah, and bring it down to the bins and so on and leave the beach clean. So it's a, let's say it's an advanced beach cleaning, but I, I like it very much um, and uh, the, the resonance is so big uh, that she now uh, has, to, has invited invitations uh, to different countries, different cities and so on. Yeah, then uh, we have Julia Weg and Erika Kapunzai, um, also a very young artist to uh, Julia Weg is a, uh, yeah, an artist, Erika uh, is a filmmaker, and they came up with the idea for a public installation um, in, in, uh, in that form of, of a labyrinth, so that you, uh, as a citizen, really get lost in this kind of labyrinth. I mean, the, the form is still not fixed yet, yeah? um, but uh, so that people really uh, can understand the problem we are in. So we are really stuck in this um, uh, process at the moment, so we don't know where to move the plastic waste, what to do with it. So, um, yeah, this is now also a huge uh, realization process. Yeah, So they need all kinds of support from us, uh, so I brought them together now with some of my uh, colleagues um, in Hungary, because I'm also a board member of the Budapest Art Fair there, and we always do one project in public space. So uh, this is a great step, let's say, also with regard that the mayor is now uh, welcoming them. Uh, I think uh, end of the week, we have their first um, uh, meeting, and hopefully we can organize this in, uh, in October, when we have the festival uh, in because uh, the festival is, is also um, an idea of us uh, that it's uh, really wide, widely spread around the city so that it's not only one location like a museum or one gallery, it's really like in different uh, venues. We have two cinemas, for instance, open up for our uh, festival and then people really can um, get an interaction at uh, different places with different Ideas. So we have, for instance, um, several universities on board of our project, and um, so hopefully also your course uh, can present uh, what what they did, um, so that there will be also an exchange of ideas and also discussions and panels and so on. So yeah, so this is uh, still what we are trying to do as a pioneer in art, science, and innovation collaborations, but really to. Um, to get people welcomed in this process. Yeah, then we had a little uh, spin-off at the Water Festival. It was the first Water Festival in Berlin this year. And um, there we also had an exhibition together with a panel discussion. Uh, the moderator was, was Eleonora. Um, and yeah, this was all um, based on, uh, on companies, initiatives uh, who are dealing with uh, with their beverages and so on, but yeah, they need clean water, let's say, yeah, for their out, out, uh, products. Yeah, then uh, the grand opening. Um, so, uh, as I said, uh, it was a bit um, transformed in that sense that we had to, really to speak about the ecological design and awareness. Yeah, it was hard for us to find artists and designers. In that field, startups, uh, we couldn't find anyone. Any, and I asked then Polish uh, colleagues to search in Polish language for me because I thought, yeah, maybe they're not uh, in, 
they would have English websites and so on, but yeah, they also couldn't find anyone. So it was really a pity. Uh, but in the end, we found um, two designers uh, who do upcycling. And then we had also our uh, finalists of the Open Call um, meeting there firstly, and um, then also our art and science exhibition. And it was uh, see in the left uh, corner uh, where the artists uh, showed their presentations and the designers then we held an uh, exhibition. Um, and uh, also our scientific partner, the EUCC, uh, they also brought uh, an exhibition of uh, scientific findings. So you see this one in the middle here. So they um, brought a, let's say, a, a playground even, where how it is on the beaches, right? Yeah, and here you see uh, meeting together with the museum director and the finalists, uh, so the artists. And it was the first kickoff for them as well, yeah, to, to be part of the project. Yeah, uh, on the left uh, you see also one uh, great artwork by PSGM, that's a Spanish duo, and um, they uh, came up with the idea um, together with the Institute for Technology at Las Palmas. Um, it's uh, planned like a monument, you could say, in the public space, but it could be also uh, swimming on the water. Um, and it's about so what to do with all the green energy yeah, or all the green farming and so on. What is left then for humans? Yeah? And it's more, yeah, like a uh, so they pretend everything would be set already and then nothing would be left uh, to do for, for humans just um, sitting in the sun, for instance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we are here. Um, and yeah, I would like to give you also a short introduction to the speakers. So Heike Kapinen um, <laughs> uh, is a, the CEO of the Finnish company Duat, um, which is an interesting both product and um, a company. And Duat um, is a material made from uh, recycled plastics. And as I understood, it's 100% uh, recyclable. And uh, this is what we really uh, appreciate and uh, are excited about also to spread it, yeah, to let others uh, know about your, your great uh, business. Um, then we have Anna-Marie Kofandalai, uh, who was the one um, why we could come here. <laughs> As I said, I already approached uh, several um, uh, teachers here as well. Uh, it was not so easy, yeah, for some of them. Um, yeah, and her design practice and interests are situated with the body, movement, and hapticity, as well as solution oriented and sustainable design. And yeah, as we were talking earlier, uh, her current exhibition at the airport here in Helsinki is really overwhelming. And uh, please check it out uh, when you uh, there at exit 2B. Um, then, uh, Paula Havasta, um, she's the team leader for the e-learning and events department at the Finnish Science Center for Lika. Um, and as we heard, uh, yeah, 25 years of experience, so it's, uh, it's amazing uh, what you do. So I'm really looking forward to hear the uh, presentation. Then we have Tova Ho, uh, the coordinator of the Baltic Sea Challenge. Um, and her uh, expertise include uh, management, environmental science, education um, for sustainable de development, networking, and other applied research. So we are also looking forward to that. And uh, Jonna, you need uh, ah, here we are. Perfect. <laughs> so founder and CEO of Repack, uh, which is a reusable packaging service uh, that aims to bring consumers and retailers together. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the circular economy which we were, which we are expecting in the future, uh, uh, more to uh, adapt uh, your ideas and uh, businesses. And um, yeah, to uh, I mean, uh, Victoria gave already a short overview, so we are here now in Esto, and we are heading to Pristina, to Amsterdam, where we are in the middle of the We Made the City Festival. Um, it's the first city uh, festival of that kind uh, that really, um, like we set up the project, the whole festival there will be. So uh, a lot of interesting uh, impact 
ideas um, and then uh, to be spread uh, throughout uh, the, the public and the people. Uh, then yeah, to Barcelona and to Venice and finally then uh, to Budapest. So we are all here to join forces against the plastic epidemic and I would like to head over now to the uh, first speaker. Yeah.